All right, guys, we're gonna do another recent watches. I haven't done one since December, I believe. It's been over a month. So we got five movies to talk about today. Uh, two of them are rewatches. I just wanted to put them on there because I really enjoyed the rewatch. I haven't watched them in a while. Um, so I wanted to add them to the list. Um, I did watch a lot more than five movies since my last recent watches, but I only want to add like the highlighted ones. Um, it'd just be, it'd be so much to add all the movies that I've watched since then. Um, if I think they're worth talking about, I'll add them to the list, but if they're just average movies uh, that I've watched, I'm not gonna add every single one to the list because it would be a 30 minute video every month or every time I do one of these, so uh, let's get the rewatches out of the way first. First one is The Shining, and I'm aware that I'm in desperate need for an upgrade on this. I definitely need to get the Blu-ray. Um, quick thoughts on Doctor Sleep. I think it's all right. Um, I watched it twice, but it's all right. Um, but The Shining is what I rewatched. Um, I, I mean, it's almost a perfect movie to me. I love this movie. Um, me and my girlfriend went on a trip for her birthday. We went and stayed in a cabin for a while, and I thought it was a perfect setting because her birthday's in the wintertime. Uh, I brought a lot of winter-based movies. I brought The Thing. I brought Dumb and Dumber, which I think is a winter-based movie because when they get to uh, Colorado. But anyway, brought The Shining, rewatched it there, and then I rewatched it again when we got home because I wanted to rewatch the scene with Delbert Grady and Jack in the bathroom whenever uh, Delbert is cleaning off his jacket. I think I, I actually love that scene. It's my favorite scene of the whole movie. I don't know why I never noticed it, but within these rewatches, that scene really stuck out to me. And I just love that scene. It's done so well. And I love, uh, I can't remember his name, Philip Stone playing Delbert Grady. I think he did amazing in that scene. I mean, really, if you haven't seen this movie in a while, go back and watch that scene. I don't know why it stuck out to me so much, this these recent rewatches, but it really did, and I, I don't know, I just love that scene so much. My girls, sir, uh, they didn't care for the Overlook at first. One of them actually stole a pack of matches and tried to burn it down. But I corrected them, sir. And when my wife tried to prevent me from doing my duty, I corrected her. So obviously, um, I'm given, I think Shining is a five star movie. I know a lot of people don't like it. They think it's slow or they don't like uh, how Stanley Kubrick films, uh, his style and whatnot. Um, I don't want to say I'm a super big fan of Stanley Kubrick, but I think he did The Shining very well. I haven't seen a lot of his movies, but uh, I think he did The Shining very well. So I love this movie. My next rewatch was Misery. Uh, this is also a movie that I brought on the trip because it's obviously winter setting. Um, this is an awesome movie with Kathy Bates and James Cann. They both do phenomenal in this movie. Um, Kathy Bates' best role uh, from what I've seen so far. This is definitely her best, best performance as Annie Wilkes. And then James Cann, I haven't seen a lot of his movie, but uh, his portrayal of Paul Sheldon is awesome. Uh, I just love this. This is a perfect wintertime movie. It's super like, confined. It's snowing. I don't know. There's something about it. It's pretty much just the two characters of the whole movie. Um, something about it. It's just perfect. Every time it's snowing, which is a snow day today, um, I'll probably throw it in at some point today. I got the thing rolling on the TV over here actually right now. But uh, I always watch snowy movies when it, on snow days, and this is definitely at the top of the list, along with The Thing and The Shining. I uh, watched The Shining this morning, actually. Love this movie. Uh, it's a five-star movie for me. Um, definitely worth, worth the watch, or worth the buy. If you haven't watched this movie, go out and buy the Blu-ray and give it a shot, because it is awesome. Okay, so for the past month, month and a half, I've been kind of on a Western kick. Um, I've always liked westerns but i never got into watching a whole bunch of them and this past month and a half i've really buckled down to starting to watch them and i've like fell in love with them um not like i'm going out of horror or anything horror is definitely still my top uh movie genre but i've definitely put them to the side uh a little bit for this past month month and a half with watching westerns 
and I've watched quite a bit of them and I still have a lot on my watch list. Um, although now it's kind of, I can feel it turning that I'm getting back into horror a lot more. I can tell that I'm slowly turning back to horror. Um, so it'll go back to normal here pretty soon. But uh, definitely still have a lot on my watch list. I do want to show this real quick. These three movies are on my watch list. I haven't seen any of them. Uh, it is The Searchers, Wild Bunch, and How the West Won. Got this three pack for Christmas, so definitely gonna watch those. Those will probably be on my next um, recent watches. So that it's not, I haven't watched them yet, but this one I watched uh, Pale Rider, Clint Eastwood. Uh, Clint Eastwood is my favorite Western actor uh, as of right now. And I wanted to watch more of his movies, so I got this at Vintage Stock. Um, just got the DVDs for these Westerns. I don't really care about having all of them on Blu ray because, first of all, they're hard to find on Blu ray and I don't think it really matters that much. I mean, as far as westerns go, I, I go for more quantity over quality. Um, my horror movies, I want Blu-ray, but anyway, I enjoyed this one. It's about uh, Clint Eastwood is a preacher, or he acts like a preacher, I guess, um, and he kind of helps this uh, group of gold miners out uh, with this other group that's trying to take their uh, land over and kick them out, pretty much. Clint Eastwood helps them out, uh, and it's a, just a fun action movie, uh, action western. It came out in uh, 85, and I believe Clint Eastwood directed it as well. Yes, produced and directed by Clint Eastwood. So, it's a really good movie. I enjoyed it. I have it marked down as a three star, but I'm actually going to up it to a four star. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I don't see any reason why it should be below four. Um, it was really entertaining. The third act was really cool. Uh, super hyped up and intense so four star movie this is a western I got for Christmas um, high noon it is rated in like top 30 greatest movies in America of all time so I definitely wanted to watch this one and it did not disappoint I really really liked it it's starring Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly Gary Cooper does awesome uh, he's like a sheriff that's retiring but he comes out of retirement because these bad guys are coming to the town that he was sheriff at and he's trying to gather up deputies uh, within the town nobody wants to help him out nobody wants to be his deputy because the guys coming are super bad and uh, they're known for being very very good so pretty much at high noon these guys catch the train and come into town and Gary Cooper uh, has to fight them so it is really hyped up really cool and I really enjoyed it and I will stick with three stars on this one just because it might drag on a little bit but honestly if I watched it again I might bump it up to four stars but three stars is still a good movie to me and definitely want to rewatch it uh, and I enjoyed it so really good okay final one I want to talk about it's another Clint Eastwood well not the final one actually I have one more after this it's another Clint Eastwood uh, a fistful of dollars I got this at vintage stock and I actually got Good, Bad, and the Ugly as well, but I couldn't find for a few more dollars, which is the sequel to this one, and Good, Bad, and the Ugly is the third one. But um, I enjoyed Fistful of Dollars. It definitely wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, I knew it was a cheap spaghetti western done by Sergio Leone, um, but for some reason I thought it was going to be different than what it was. It was still good. I still enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a three stars. But um, Clint Eastwood does amazing in this. The opening to this movie is phenomenal. It's probably one of the greatest opening scenes I've ever seen. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait to finish off the trilogy because obviously it's one of the most classic trilogies of all time, Western trilogies. So hopefully those sequels will be on the future recent watches. Okay, the next movie I don't have a physical copy of. I watched it on Netflix because I've seen it pop up. It is The Unforgiven, or I think it's just called Unforgiven. Uh, it's another Clint Eastwood, produced and directed by Clint Eastwood uh, in 1990, I believe. 1992. Um, and I had to add it to this list because it was amazing. Uh, I'm going to give it a five star. I mean, this was a really, really good movie. Clint Eastwood kind of left Westerns in the, in the late 80s, I believe. I think that's how the story goes. And he kind of was sitting on this script for a long time and he wanted to wait till he was older to so he could play in it as the main character so he was sitting on the script for a long time and then he finally thought it was time to make it so he gathered up the group I mean 
this movie has a pretty crazy cast. He has Morgan Freeman in there. It's just an awesome movie. The ending is great. Uh, the build-up, uh, I mean, everything. The beginning, middle, end, is it's a great movie. So I had to add it to this list. Definitely recommend. If you're not into westerns and you're maybe curious or you want to see a good one uh, or you don't think there are any good ones out there, watch Unforgiven. It's a great one to start with. It's not the... It's not, I mean, it's a classic, but it's not a classic classic as far as Western movies go. But it's still, I'd still say it's a good one to start with. Um, and I'm just starting out, and it was, I thought, I mean, it hyped me up to watch even more Westerns. So definitely go check that one out. I'm giving it a five stars. Okay, so those are the movies I've watched recently. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to put, I'll put a list of what movies I want to watch recently. It doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but it's movies that are on my list right now. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.